After 20 long years, the major cold case has finally been solved. Tonight, the woman charged with posing as a nurse and kidnapping an hours-old baby is spending her first night in the Duval County Jail. Back in 1998, a woman snatches a newborn baby girl from her mother's arms by passing herself off as a nurse needing to examine the infant. She shouldn't have doubled up my arms from the beginning. <laughs> the abduction ignited a desperate search with more than 2,000 tips pouring in. But after years of leads that went nowhere, the case went cold. Then, decades later, an anonymous tip turned the case red hot. When a DNA match identified 18-year-old Kamaya Mobley as the baby taken from her mother so many years before. She appears to be in good health. She, she appears to be a, a, a normal 18-year-old young woman. Piecing the old case together, investigators raid the South Carolina home where Camilla was raised. And inside, a treasure trove of evidence, including baby photos of Camilla throughout her life and a phony hospital ID card. Cops soon nab the mother who lives there too, Gloria Williams. They bring her to headquarters for questioning. Well, there's a missing persons case. The missing persons come by. An infant that was taken from Jacksonville in 98. That's all I want to say right now. I'm glad you want to talk more about that. Okay. Nothing at all. I don't know anything about that. You don't know anything about it? Never heard anything? Or... If you have a point, then we can talk. Investigators also want a picture of the accused baby snatcher. Why are you taking a photograph? I just need one for the case file. Okay. Why you need taking my photo? I'm sure you don't have my permission to do that. Then William's second husband, Wernoski Williams, is brought in for questioning. She married him 13 years after snatching Kamaya, and he tells cops his wife never told him a thing. Is there something else that you know what's going on? Well, I wish it I did. Like this thing, you don't know anything about this thing? No. Okay. I wish Let I me, did. Okay. Know. No charges were ever filed against Gloria Williams' husband, who had just learned about the kidnapping following his wife's arrest. But by this time, the state attorney begins the delicate work with the family who's endured so much pain. We met this morning with the sheriff with Kamaya's biological parents, both her mother and her father, um, and we promised that we would be committed to holding their hand through this process. Kamaya, whom Gloria renamed Alexis, meets her birth family for the very first time. Everybody is just really loving on her. Like, everybody's just really happy that she's here. And just days later, another emotional reunion. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. A bittersweet moment as Kamaya is reunited with Gloria Williams, the only woman she has known as her mother. It's okay. So how did the truth about Kamaya's real identity come to light? The deception began to unravel when the teenager applied for a restaurant job and was asked for her social security card. Problem is, Kamaya didn't have one. And when she asked her mother about it, Williams broke down and confessed to abducting her as a baby. Kamaya kept her secret for two years and finally shared it with a friend, and that friend phoned in the tip. And the other burning question, why did she do it? Gloria Williams' family says the now 52-year-old suffered a miscarriage and had a nervous breakdown before stealing the baby, which she passed off as her own. And I'm certain the prosecution will take the perspective that, you know, we can't let everybody in society think that, oh, well, it's okay if you steal other people's children and you raise them to be good people, that we're not going to prosecute those type of crimes. But Kamaya is standing by the woman who kidnapped her all those years ago, supporting Gloria Williams through her legal fight. The woman she has always called mom gives Kamaya a smile as she walks into the courtroom. But that smile may be fading soon. Williams took a deal and pleaded guilty to one count of kidnapping and one count of interference with custody. At sentencing, she could face up to 22 years in prison.
Williams will be sentenced in May. The young girl caught in the middle is expected to speak at the sentencing and says she'll ask the court to give the woman she knew as her mom as light a sentence as possible. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.